Welcome, this is a TN Ready practice test for Integrated Math 1, question number one in the 2019-20 version. A little inside baseball on this whole process is I tend to shoot these for at least high school tests when they come out new, but it saves me a ton of time as we move forward by when they just use the same question and change the number, because then I just change it in the title of the video. You'll see that a lot here if you follow through. But... Uh, Sometimes they'll have new questions, which is fine. I don't mind reshooting them. But this is the third type, which is they take the original question and tweak it just a little bit. So I have to question whether to reshoot it or not. In this case, the answer is yes, I'm going to reshoot it. So because they added one more answer choice. Thanks, State of Tennessee. I've got tons of free time. Anyway, that's enough of my complaining. Question number one says, select all tables that represent a function. And you can see that I circled function there, or a function, I suppose. The reason is because we need to identify what a function even is before we jump on the hype train and start picking things out. So what is a function? Well, a great way to assess whether it is a function or not is to do a vertical line test. Which doesn't answer the original question of what are they but it does help me build some level of thought here's a function the vertical line test shows that when I have any X value it only has one corresponding Y value now not a function this is not a function because here and here if I do a vertical line test Listen, we both know it's not a vertical line, but you're going to lie to yourself and pretend that it is. It means that, say, this is x is equal to 1, there are two separate outputs. Maybe y is equal to 2 and y is equal to negative 2. I don't know. Choose your own adventure. But anyway, I have an input and it has two outputs. It's like a soda machine. If you pressed a button and you got different things, you'd be really annoyed. So you have your soda machine set up and you have all your buttons there. Actually, they're, they used to be big flat buttons, and now it's just like the circle. You can use a credit card now, whatever. So say if I press this button. Now, if all of the buttons said that they were going to give me Coke, and they all gave me Coke, then great. I'm happy. The problem is the broken piece where the input would be pressing the button is if this button said Sprite and it gave me Diet Coke. And then the next time I press that same button that says Sprite, I end up getting Dr. Pepper. Like, I wouldn't be bummed to get Dr. Pepper, but if I'm trying to get Sprite, I want Sprite, right? So it should match up to one thing connected. Even if the button was broken and every time I pe press Sprite, it gave me Diet Coke, I could adjust my life to that. But if it's completely random, every X gives me, uh, gives me potentially more than one Y, that's a big problem. So your X and Y values, of course, your X is your input and your Y is your output. So we'll use the vertical line test, but we should know that a function is something that each input only has one output connected to it. So each X should only have one Y. So let's go through and look. Um, these are all different X's. Looks like they're all going different places. So if I were to graph this, something like this, and I'm just gonna do really generic graphing methods. I'm not going to try super hard because I don't want you to have to sit here and watch me try to work it all out forever. Obviously, if this is 3 away, this is definitely not 8 away. But again, lie to yourself, everyone. So 4 and 9. But if I do a vertical line test, the values run into each other, which means I don't have the same x value going to two different y's. So that's a function. So A, good to go. B, I can look and see, well, there's no x's that repeat, so that's heartwarming. Uh, 0 and 3 is probably somewhere around here. 2 and 3 is probably somewhere around here. 4 and 5, and 6 and 5. Now, you'll notice there, there are repeating numbers in the y. That doesn't matter. Our only definition of a function is that inputs don't have two outputs. So this input of 0 has an output of 3. That's fine. This input of 2 also has an output of 3. But that doesn't make it broken. Have you ever gone to a theme park? And I don't know if they'd even do this anymore. But they used to have theme park soda machines occasionally, depending on where you would go. And they would have the entire soda machine just gave you, like, Dr. Pepper or whatever the thing was they had an agreement with. So it was okay that every single button went to Dr. Pepper because that's what you were expecting. So it wasn't broken. It was just a weird machine. It can be weird and still function. I may be living proof of that. But 
Anyway, this meets the vertical line test. It's okay to have y's that are the same. All the x's are different, so we're good to go. Look at c, though. See how it has two x's there? That's danger, Will Robinson. Not, not going to be great. So x at negative 1, so maybe down here. A 3 at negative 4. And then another 3 at negative 6. Uh-oh. And then a 7 all the way down at negative 9, something like that. The problem is right here. If I could draw a vertical line, you would see that this failed the vertical line test because it has two x's that are the same, and they go to different values. Wah, wah. What about d? I'll go ahead and erase these out. This looks like a huge problem. 5 goes to 1, 5 goes to 2, 5 goes to 3, 5 goes to 4. So at 1, at 2, at 3, at 4. Not great. So it's not a function. Fail the, the vertical line test. And you have x's more than once. So your inputs lead to different outputs. That makes it not a function. And then finally, uh, letter E. They're all going to the same place, but they're all starting in a different place. This is the Dr. Pepper soda machine, right? So at negative 3, it's at 0. At negative 2, it's at 0. At negative 1, it's at 0. And at 0, it's 0. doesn't matter. It's still functional. It's just weird. It's okay for it to be weird and functional. So this is also okay. So my answers for question 1 are A, B, and E.